Good morning everybody. I'm Christy and this is my channel Java Girl Stitches and this is floss tube number 11. I am a week late this time. I took three weeks instead of two um, to upload a video. Um, we had some family issues with Tyler and I needed a little bit more time to get myself kind of put back together and um, get myself ready for another video. But I am back. I'm happy to be back. Thank you everybody for joining me and spending some time with me. Um, and so let's get started. Um, let's see, real quick, what has been going on? Um, we went on vacation and we had a great time. That was so nice. It was the first vacation my husband has taken in probably like four years because he's been so busy um, at work. So um, we went to Cedar City, Utah. Um, it was cold, it was really cold. Um, we went on this amazing hike, it's our favorite hike that we go on every single time. We loved it, even though we were freezing. Um, and then of course we woke up, I think it was Sunday morning, and it was snowing. It said it was gonna rain, but it started snowing. But of course, since we don't get much of that, we loved it. And the boys absolutely loved the snow. Um, so we went off-roading um, into the mountains and John has been begging forever to be able to ride in the back of the truck. He just thinks that's going to be the coolest thing ever. So we were out to dinner and Dave told him, um, okay, well, if you eat this onion ring, then I'll let you ride in the back of the truck. Now, John hates onion rings and Chase tried and he spit it out. He's like, I can't even do it. And John, he persevered. He gagged that poor onion ring down just so he could ride in the back of the truck. So we did go up to the mountains um, the next day and it was snowing and we let them ride in the back of the truck. And I mean, they had shorts on, they didn't even have pants, they had a coat. But um, we drove up in the mountains it, while it was snowing. Dave was like swerving in and out of all these mud puddles. So they were just getting mud all over them. And of course they thought it was the greatest thing ever. And I finally had to make them get out because I'm like, you have goosebumps all over your legs. You are freezing. Like, as a mom, I cannot let you stay back there anymore. But they're like, this was so lit because that's their word. And they had a great time. So great vacation. Thank you, everybody, for wishing us um, a great vacation. We had an awesome one. Okay, also, my husband, for Mother's Day, he started on my craft table and he finished it. And it's in my craft room and it's absolutely beautiful. It's huge and I have all the space to work on so the kitchen table will not get taken up anymore except for my floss tube videos. So um, I love it. Um, I also learned how to put two videos together. I know me I can actually do that now. It's super easy. So I know you have been asking for a home tour and then I've had requests for a patriotic tour. So I did do one. It has a little bit of both in there and I do show my craft room and my brand new table and that will be at the end of the video so as soon as this one is over it'll go right into the next one um, so I'm super excited about that I finally got that guy done for you guys and I know you've asked for a bow tutorial I'm going to do that this week for you also um, I got lots of stitching done in the last three weeks <clears throat> lots of finishes done so I have loads of stuff to show you today um, <clears throat> I also, as you know, my sewing machine broke, so I did order a new one, and I, a lot of you suggested do not buy a singer, that they are not good. Well, Christy didn't listen, and I bought a singer, and it was awful. <laughs> In the video, when you see the home tour, I'm like, I love this machine, because it, that was the one day that it actually kind of worked for a short period of time. So I got like two pin cushions sewed, and it just had issues and we tried to fix the issues and then I went on and I read the reviews and the reviews on the machine were horrible and everybody was having the same issues as I did and I thought maybe it's just me so I kept you know trying and messing with it and then yesterday I tried to make some more pin cushions and I was like nope I'm done so that lovely hunk of junk got put back in the box and I um, returned it back to Amazon <clears throat> And it said it would take like seven days once they receive it to get your refund. 
and this morning I got a notification they have not even received it yet and they already issued a refund so I have a feeling that that machine has probably been returned quite a few times so yes all of you that told me not to buy a singer you can tell me I told you so because you were absolutely 100% right so I am looking into a new one a different one I have a couple ideas I'm just going to go down to like our quilt shop and I'm going to ask them like which one would be better because I don't want a thousand dollar machine I just don't need that um, so hopefully this week I will get a different one and it will work and I will have no problems and I'll be able to sew pin cushions again to sell so that's next on my list so that is pretty much what has been going on over here um, I hope everybody's been having a great three weeks and having a great summer we're having a good summer here the boys have been really good still they're sleeping um, it's like what 9 30 or something my time and they haven't even been getting up until like noon so I'm hoping that today's not the day that they decide to wake up early and interrupt the video but they stay up all night playing Xbox and Chase is studying for his permit because I told him you have to and his girlfriend that's just a friend they um she I told her I'm like help him study you know and she is so I'm hoping by the end of June that's when I told him I'd like him to have his permit so we're working on that also okay so enough about updates in my life um, let's get right into the stitching so this week um, last three weeks I have gotten a lot of FFOs done lots of them it's like yay lots of accomplished so my first one I did show this on Instagram but I'll show it here and this is Liberty Lights by Frosted Pumpkins. I forgot how much I love Frosted Pumpkins and they're still one of my favorites and I absolutely loved stitching this. It's my favorite piece. And it's just a white board from um, Michaels, I believe. And then I just put some star material on the back with sticky board. I put a little ribbon across and then two ribbons and then I have the star that is painted and sanded and um, the cover button which I love and I'm so happy with how this turned out okay there's one the other one I showed on Instagram also was henpeck try to show you there um, this one was I struggle with a little bit because the colors are a little bit faded and it doesn't match all of the patriotic bright colors but I tried to work with it the best I could and um, this board was brown and it's like a plank wood board and so I spray painted it white and but it still left some of the brown in that you could see but I like that because it looks like it looks old and I like that antiqued so I just put um, some check uh, material around it and then I did the red um, uh, gingham is it gingham it's homespun whatever it is um, fabric and then I have a black bow and then the patriotic bow and I have a daisy in the middle with a covered button and I'm super happy with how that turned out all right that's finish number two let's go to this one okay this is stars and stripes and I believe this was by country cottage needleworks or little house needleworks and this is just another plank wood board that was um, I got at Michaels and this one I just material and I put um, like a red rope around it cording and then up here I have two bows and I made the stars just out of material I cut them out of material I put the um, twine tried to make it into a flower and then I have a covered button so you can kind of see a little bit better and I love how this one turned out too patriotic stitching and finishing is definitely the easiest for me so far okay my next one is I finished red white and bloom so this um, is just on a frame I mounted it on red check um, material and then these are you can see the little daisies that like Priscilla used I just kind of tucked them in there with some hot glue and then my favorite ribbon of course for this year and so I did the blue ribbon but I also did a little bit of red ribbon and kind of swung it around made it kind of look like a flower and then I have it's not the daisy with the covered button and I am super happy how that turned out too okay two more I got six done you guys I kicked some serious booty this last couple of weeks okay the next one I made into a pillow and this was Liberty sampler by Lizzie Kate and I just did the small one 
and this was the first thing I sewed on the new sewing machine so it ain't perfect because that sewing machine was not working correctly but I kept it because I'm, I'm like I'm not redoing it and it it's good enough so what I did is I made like a pocket like I do with my envelopes so um, I stuck little flowers inside the pocket and then I just added um, two things a ribbon and a covered button and even though it's wonky I still love it and that was my just my you know I'm like this is what I, exactly what I know what I want to do it's a different idea I wanted to do the pocket and probably not the best option to try on your brand new machine I should have sewed something simple first but I went for this and I'm, I'm still happy with it okay last finish fully finished and this is holiday hoopla the july one so this is a sifter the star i just magneted onto did i even say that right that sounded really weird magneted uh, no i didn't say it right and i can't say it right so i'm, I'm gonna stop <laughs> but i it's it's magnet to this sifter and then inside i took um the jolly july i have or uh, not jolly july geez the july um it has blue around the border and then I have the red check um, oh my gosh I can't even talk to the um, ruffle around it and then I glued another like a kebab stick to it and I stuck a bunch of styrofoam in this and I don't know if you've seen sifters the, it's not like flat in there so I'm like stuffing styrofoam in all little sections in there so that was a little bit hard but I did get it and so if you can see inside I do have a bow with a daisy on it it has some greenery some picks and then a couple more flowers and I love how this turned out it took I'm not gonna tell you how long it took me to do it because I am not good at floral arrangements I can finish finish things but when it comes to having to make it look all florally and stuff that is not my specialty but it's, it's good enough and I like it and I'm happy okay and then I did finish one more piece this week it's not fully finished yet and it was a little stitch also by Lizzie Kate and the little thing here keeps moving the little charm but I am finished with that and I can cannot wait to finish fully finish this and that's going to go into um, my cross stitch room I just have to I organized it a little bit but it's not f completely done but it's good enough for right now okay let's go on to my whips which i have a lot of those too like i said i've been getting a lot done it's been a, it's been a good besides the tyler stuff it's been a really good two weeks so the first thing i this is my one was a mania start and i did a little bit more on this a little bee by lizzie kate and i got the rest of the flowers the bee and i'm started up here so i think i can get this done in probably a day so that's my goal because I have a bunch of summer ones here I need to finish by the end of June so I need to get my butt in gear and get these done and this is on um, mm, tea coffee dyed Monaco okay I'm gonna stick that in the bag so we don't lose it the second one is a new start I just started yesterday because I wanted to get this done for summer also and this is hands-on design the summer night and I'm not doing the pin cushion I'm just doing the little house like Priscilla and Heather from the Blessed Stitcher, she did it too. And um, make sure it's the right way. And this is what I've gotten done so far from yesterday. So not too bad a progress, being that I was fighting with the sewing machine and I was upset and had to pack it up and all that stuff. I finally just let it all go and I started stitching and I, so I got that much done. So I'm gonna continue to work on this today because I think I can finish it today. And that'll be two more Oops, I'm destroying summer stitches that I'm gonna have done. And I don't have anywhere to put my stuff because the whole entire table is full of stuff today. So bear with me here while I throw stuff. <clears throat> okay, my second one, another mania start, is Little House Needleworks Summer ABCs. And I did, while we were on vacation, I did get a little bit more done. I think it was down, I think I had watermelon, but I added, so I've done all of that. And I love this one. I love the color conversion Priscilla chose. And I can, I'm hoping I can get this done because this one, it's big. So it's gonna take me a few more days 
then it ain't gonna get whipped out in a couple days. It's probably gonna take me like three or four days. But I'm hoping I can get that done. Okay, next, another Mania Start. And this was a beeline by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I was able to get two more of the stems on the flowers. So I just have to do two more flowers in the bees and I'll be done. So again, gotta get done by the end of June. And yes, I do make plans. I kind of write out what I want to accomplish each month and I set myself a goal. Sometimes I finish it, sometimes I don't, but I'm pretty, I think I can finish these. And then my new stitch along, the JG Farmhouse Sal, um, I did start that. I haven't made much progress because this thing is huge. And somebody suggested you're gonna need more floss. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more floss. A lot more floss. Because I'm almost out of green and I've only gotten a little bit done here. And I love this one. I'm gonna continue to work on it probably two days a week in between everything else. And that's all I've gotten done on it. Not a whole lot. But, um, and this is on Vintage Country Mocha Ada. But I'm super excited. I love to stitch along. I can't wait to get more done. And I can't wait till it's all finished. And I saw somebody, because it had the flag, that they put it with their 4th of July. And then I liked that idea. And I thought, well, I could do that. I could put it with my 4th of July. And then I could also just hang it, you know, or put it in my craft room, um, like on the sampler wall. Okay, and then for the month of June, Lainey Main, um, she also has um, Sheep Loving Stitchers on Facebook. And this is the design I picked, wool, what is it called? Block party. And I'm, I'm starting by just doing the sheep all the way around. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the pin cushion or if I just wanted to have, you know, just all the sheep in one long strip. But this is what I've gotten done. I only worked on it one day this weekend. So I have, I still need to finish the fence and then a sheep and that'll be one section of it done. And I love this one and mm, so cute. Anything with, you know, farm animal sheep. So I love that group. I love that you get to pick something new every single time and you work on it and you only work on it on the weekends and then I think you show your progress on Monday or Tuesday, which I still need to do. Okay, and then I bought this one. This is brand new Frosted Pumpkins Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. I saw this and I knew I had to have it because in the summertime on my kitchen table, I have a lemonade display and I already have a little sign that I made that says the same words. So I'm like, okay, I'll just throw that in with my summer stuff too. I got like three weeks left. I can get it all done, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try. So I can't wait to start that one either. Okay, I think that is it for whips because that wasn't enough, you know? <laughs> okay, so next is Stitchy Kindness. And this week I got from Stacy. Let me see what her name is. Stacy, and she's St um, Stacy Postal Stitcher on Instagram. Absolute sweetest person ever. And she emailed me and was like, I need your address. And I was like, okay. And she sent me this adorable chart. I have never, this is American Panorama by Blue Ribbon Designs. I have never heard of them ever. But this is so cute. And, it's for, and it can be for patriotic, or you can make them all into little ornaments. So she sent me this, and the floss, and these cute little tags that, um, with love in every thread, and uh, my reading, stitching with love. So she sent me those, and she sent me an absolutely sweet note, which I'll just keep between her and I, but just the best surprise, thank you so much, that was just so sweet. Okay, and then we have Denise who always sends me stuff. She's dot dot goose designs. She sent me this cute little mason jar. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna display this in my um, in my tiered tray. And she's like, Christy, it's first, it's a spoon rest that goes on top of the, uh, the stove. I'm like, I know, but it's so cute. I wanna show it off somewhere else. So she got me that. Again, running out of room. And then she sent me this. Look how cute this is. It's a little dress thing and it go, has, through the arms, it goes over like a towel rack or I'm gonna put it in my kitchen like on my stove. Her friend makes these. And is that not the cutest thing ever? 
Love, love, love. Her friend needs to sell these because these are just adorable. And then she made me two project bags. Her light color, the white with the jars. Absolutely love. And she made me this one, which is totally me because it's all cutesy. And it's got adorable little birds and flowers. And then the back is polka dot. And I love it. So I'm getting there with my project bags, you guys. I'm getting quite a few now. Now I have to, I don't have to use as many plastic bags anymore. Okay, let's see. What's next? Happy, or stitchy mail. Stitchy mail, stitchy haul, I should call it. I do have a little bit this time. Um, so the first thing is Star, Star Spangled Swine Farm. Must have it. It's not going to get done this year. I already know that because I'm done with patriotic stitching, but it'll be on my list for next year. And then I got the pins. What I did is I actually, I ordered and I thought I ordered the pattern and I just got the pins and I was like, well, I didn't order the pins. And so I kept waiting for the, the pattern to come and I messaged her and I'm like, is the pattern not coming? Because I know you already have it out. Yeah, all I had done is order the pins on accident. So now I have pins <laughs> and they're adorable. So. I'll use them. Okay, the second thing I got was Signs of Spring by the Prairie Schooler. And I really wanted this one for the chicken in the lamb. Because I saw somebody just, they didn't stitch the whole thing, they just stitched the chicken, rooster, and the ham, and the, um, the lamb. So that's what I want to do. Um, and then I want to stick it in my tiered tray that goes in my kitchen. So I'm super excited about that. Won't get done until next year. Um, Love this. Little house chart. Oh, it just says, oh, two roosters. If you can see those. And that's by Little House Needleworks. Love them. It's been sitting in my cart at 123 Stitch for quite a while, and I finally just bought it. Don't know when I'm going to get to them, but I'm going to do them. And then I think it was Sambre Stitches that I saw this pattern, which I had never seen before. And it's JB. W Designs, never heard of them. Sweetland of Liberty, but look how cute that is. Does it have sheep? No, it has bunnies. Oh, it does. It looks like it might have some sheep, but look how cute that is. So I cannot wait to stitch this next year. I don't even need to buy any more patterns, you guys. I'm all set for next year. <laughs> it's bad. I tried to stitch as much patriotic as I could, and I got quite a bit done. So, okay, and then A Little Liberty by Lizzie Kate, and it comes in a kit. I don't think I'll use the material because it's really stiff, but I still love, absolutely love the pattern. So that's another one for next year. And then I got two more Christmas ornaments. Tree Farm, which I, I have most in the series. I did not have this one, so I picked that one up. And I got Merry Mini Making, Merry Christmas. And I love that one too. So that is all my um, stitchy haul and I am going to be doing Jolly July that's why I got these two ornaments I'm not going to be doing a new start every single day absolutely not not 31 ornaments I am going to be stitching I think I probably have a good 10 and I'm going to probably stitch on them for two days and then I have a couple Halloween ornaments I'm gonna throw in there because usually July is when I start doing Halloween stuff um, so I will throw in another just couple Halloween projects that I had already started and those will be thrown in there too. But I will show you everything that I'm going to do, work on in July and all my plans and that will be in the next video. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we, I had a giveaway last video and it was for the Needle Lady pattern and the spools of thread. So um, I did the random generator, and the winner on that is Andrea Talbot. If I'm saying that right, I hope it's T-A-L-B-O-T. -T. You are the winner of that. And then <clears throat> on my video a couple weeks ago, um, I gave away the mug and uh, two cross stitch patterns, and I gave away the pillow with the summer whirly gig. The lady who won it did not claim it, so I went back to that video and I did random generator again. And the winner of that is Amber Sisco, um, S-I-S-C-O. So you, Amber, are the winner of this. 
So if both of you will contact me, I will put my email address into um, the show notes and um, just email me and I will get those sent out to you. I've never had a winner not claim anything, so I was kind of surprised on that one, but it's okay. We'll just give it away to somebody else then. Not a problem whatsoever. So that is, even with everything I have, I'm, I'm my video is a little short today, but that's okay. Um, thank you everybody for um, watching. Thank you for understanding that I needed a little break there um, with some issues at home. Um, um, I don't even know, you guys, I'm like flustered today. I'm, I'm exhausted, it's been a long week. Um, but I appreciate everybody's comments. I loved hearing about all your summer vacations. They sound wonderful. Um, I like the ones where I'm just gonna stitch. Yeah, I'm. that's me too. That's one thing I'm realizing I'm getting a lot more stitching done during the summer. Um, Cause the boys kind of do their own thing and we are trying to get them, take them and do stuff too. But I do get a lot of stitching done, so it's really nice. Um, thank you for all the sweet comments. Thank you for all the suggestions on the sewing machine, even though Christy didn't listen. Sorry guys, like I said, you can tell me I told you so. Um, I hope all of you have a great couple weeks. I will try to be back in another two weeks in the summer. It seems like people get really busy and I'm not sure that they have time to watch Floss Tube all the time or they're just, you know, and I'm busy. So if it's another three weeks then, but I will be back for sure. And as soon as this video is over, it's going to kick into, hopefully, because I tested it, I test, I made a couple videos and I put them together and it should go right into the home tour. Um, so I hope that you all enjoy that and I will see you guys next time. Good morning, everybody. I know that it has been a while um, and I had promised you a farmhouse home tour and then I had some requests for um, a patriotic home tour as well. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of both. So this wall right here is my pony wall and this is all done in just my farmhouse decor. I do not go totally crazy with patriotic. I don't do the entire house, so just sections of it. So that's my wall, and then I have cross stitch up there. I have a couple of pictures here. And then on my end table, I have a little patriotic display. I have a little scoop down there with a pillow in it and my finished stars and stripes, and then just a flag and some pics. And then I'm going to show you my gallery wall, all farmhouse. Mm, I love this wall. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted, but I got it. Okay, and then over on this end table is my little hen peck section. I have hen peck and rise and shine and a rooster with a flag, of course. And this is my little cross stitch cart and my cross stitch chair. And down there is where I keep my millions and millions of patterns. Okay, and then my couch. This one just has two little patriotic pillows on it. And this one is all my farmhouse ones. Okay, my coffee table, which is where I love to deck out with all of my um, patriotic decor. And I love that scale with the little pillow in it. I love, I just love using the scale for anything. And again, yes, my husband does complain that he can't see the TV because that stuff is too high, but I keep telling him it's for decor, honey, not for watching TV. And then I have a pillow, just a couple of pillows in there. And on the wall, it doesn't show very well, but it's a home sign. And then we're gonna go to my um, entertainment center. So there's my new display this year with um, Liberty Lights by Frosted Pumpkins. That's probably my favorite stitch I've done this year for Patriotic. And I have a little wood sign I made, another cross stitch. And then I was able to finish Red, White, and Bloom Love how it turned out. And then the little basket, I just stuck daisies and stars in there and I thought it matched perfectly. On top of my entertainment center, I have cross stitch, another sign I made, bless our home, more cross stitch, and another one of my favorites this year, the happy 4th of July with the sheep. And then on this side, I have a basket with, both of those are old school cross stitch and I'm just keeping them the same. And then here in the farmhouse bucket, I just moved the greenery around and my new Liberty pillow, um, I stuck in there. 
And then down here in the galvanized tray, I already had the greenery. I just added the freedom sign and a couple of little flowers. And then I don't know if you guys remember, I took a picture of this barn and it was red. And so I repainted it white and black and added a little wreath and I love it. And then on this shelf, I have the July cross stitch and my newest one, the July um, holiday hoopla. And that's in a sifter with flowers and there is a bow in there. And then this one here was one of my favorite ones from last year. And I will not tell you how many times this poor thing has been knocked down because everybody comes down the stairs and it's gouged flesh out of my arm and my shoulder, but I don't have anywhere else for it to go, so it's staying right there. <laughs> okay, into my kitchen. So this is one side of my kitchen, and this is just farmhouse, no 4th of July in here. Lots of Ray Dunn. And then on top of my fridge, I have a crepe that I got at Michael's and I stained it and the general store is done in vinyl. I just put it on there and I filled it up with some Ray Dunn. And then over here, more farmhouse. And then my favorite shelf here, I just added some picks, 4th of July picks. The America sign and the Stars and Stripes sign are new this year. I just made those. And the bowls just have some picks in them. Stir Crazy has a couple of little spoons and the cookies has um, some more 4th of July picks. And then over here, my mug stand. And that little display is just my regular display that I keep up all the time for my farmhouse. Okay, now we're going to my hutch. And I kept a lot of Ray down in there. I just added a little bit of Patriotic in there. I didn't go too crazy because I didn't want to take everything out. It's simple, but I like it. I'm trying to downsize the ray down a little bit because I had way too much. And that's my little USA with um, the rolling pin on it. I didn't have nowhere else to put it, so that's where it went. Okay, my kitchen table, I have a little tray in here. It's pretty much the same as last year. The only thing I changed is the Liberty and Amer America um, rolling pins I made and I stuck them in the bowl. Okay, on this wall, I have like a wire basket and it has a towel, some Ray Dunn and a sign in there. And then of course I'm gonna show you my bathroom because it's done in farmhouse too. So on this wall I have um, a windmill and my husband stuck the wreath and the farmhouse uh, words onto that. And then on my sink I just have a little bucket and more Ray Dunn, a scrub a dub dub sign on top of this. I have some greenery, a windmill, and the two metal people. And then you come down here to this little shelf. The bucket, the metal buckets, um, I just put vinyl for one and two on there. This little basket came from Kirkland's and I just added towel, greenery, and the little bass line that I made. And then on top of the toilet, I have a little tray with a soap dish in it. And on the wall, I have a huge farmhouse sign, 75% off at Hobby Lobby. On this wall above the towels, I have an old frame that I had my husband stick knobs into. And then we added the wreath, the bow, and the little farm sign. And then yes, my towels are decorated too. I just um, tied them together with the check ribbon and added a little greenery and I love them. Okay, and then coming out of my bathroom, on my other kitchen wall, I have a little cubby and it's full of Ray Dunn and little pigs and just other decor. And then I'm gonna show you my craft room because my hubby just finished my table. That was my Mother's Day gift and I love it. So it's held up with two sets of cubbies, which I love because it gives me way more space. And then he made me this beautiful table. It's got molding around it. He shellacked it. It's huge and it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. And so see, this is what I had before. All I had was this little tiny table. So now you guys understand why I use the kitchen table all the time, because there ain't enough room there. And then my husband had made me this pegboard years ago, and I'm just starting to add you know, more sewing and more cross stitch stuff to that. And then over here, I have another set of cubbies, a big one. And up on the top of that shelf, that's where 
I will put more cross stitch um, when I finish it. And then over here, you can see this is my pile of shame. <laughs> this is all of my um, stuff that I use to uh, do my finishes. And there's more upstairs, but I just couldn't fit any more down here. And there's my beautiful new sewing machine, which I am still getting used to, but I'm, I'm learning and I'm loving it. So that is the home tour. So thank you everybody for stopping by and watching and I hope you guys all have a great day.